In this video, we're gonna check out the brand new Waveshare game hat. Just got mine in the mail and it was really easy to set up actually. I'm quite impressed by it. What I really like about it is the screen and that it is built specifically for the Raspberry Pi 3. So unlike uh, old Game Boys or other retro systems that people modify, this is definitely a way more plug and play device. Um, one complaint was with the analog stick, but I'll share that share that with you later but headphones stereo speakers battery indicator um, you can remove the battery buy new batteries removal SD card location all sorts of perks on this one so let's go ahead and unbox it set it up and check it out all right what's up YouTube so today we have the brand new wave share hat just got in the mail never opened just got it um, took a little bit of time to arrive and when it gets there you get all that in the box Let's drop the box here, let's get rid of the foam. You've got mounts, and you've got the one of the pieces, I wanna say this is the back piece, and then you have the front piece here. Um, I also have a Raspberry Pi, 128 gigabyte SD card, a battery, and a screwdriver. I'm hoping I can get it all together with just this. Let's go GPIO, we're gonna put the GPIOs in first. That's connected in, and then we'll double, then we'll hook in the HDMI here, once that's all lined up. All right. All right, that's all done. The next piece is gonna be these. Move the screen. Flip this back on, and then the last piece is just screwing the last six screws. So that's all done. Now, I feel really good about this because some of the other builds I've done, like if you, if you touch the wrong spots, you like, you need to get into stuff, like this feels really good. And weight-wise, it's right in the right, you know, spot, I feel like. So let's go ahead and turn it on and try it out. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So you got the light here. This is actually the battery indicator light, and it tells you how much charge you have, 25, 50%, 75%, 100%. Battery on and off switch right here. You can see it's loading up. I'm gonna switch to manual zoom over here. So we're focused in there. Another thing to note is it has all these four buttons over here. And so that does the menu. And I can change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation of the colors, if you don't like it. I can change the volume on these two speakers here. They also have a headphone jack right here. They have two of them, one's from the Pi, one's for this device. And then uh, what else do we have here? I don't wanna hit that. Okay, I turned off the menu. The menu eventually goes off. Let's go back into the menu sound and then you can reset you can change the display ratio you can turn on sleep you can turn the blue screen you can change the sharpness and you can change the positioning if it's out of position so quite a few options there. i'm going to go ahead and exit i'm just going to leave it on default here it looks really good and as you can see it's now working i did have to install the drivers there's directions on the website i'll put a link in the description it's very easy to do you just got to run a code really quick and load that up really quick but I can turn off the bezel. So this is what it look like if you have an image. This is a preset of image. I think this is a, a DZ image. And um, so, and I have, it says select, but I actually have this bound to start. So it's 60 frames per second. So it's gonna run great. Oh shoot. Yeah, I would agree with, um, you know, I've watched other reviews like ETA Primes. And um, I do think that the throw on this thing is a little too much. Sue Beetle Adventure Racing. Yeah, here we go. So in Nintendo 64, the um, you know, the analog stick's nice. A little heavy of a throw, but um, other than that, it's pretty sweet. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, secret. Oh, shoot. Jump over the fence. All right, really quick. Um, you can also turn off the bezel. This is without a bezel, and this is low, running at a little lower res to get a little bit better performance out of it. You can change the res as well. So this game's awesome with the with the analog. What? Oh, look at those jukes. Got them. All right, search like that. All right, so there you have it. I mean, this thing's pretty, pretty cool when you think about it. Like with all that, you can just take an image and uh, have awesome, awesome portable gaming system. I have a 128 gigabyte image in here, so I have like 12,000 games on here. Um, Total cost, you know, it's about 55 bucks, and then you're gonna need the battery, which is about, you know, if you go to the local head shop or something like that that sells vapor, vape products, um, it's about 10 bucks. If you go online, they're like 15 each, um, and then you need the Pi and the SD card, which will run you, you know, somewhere between uh, 40 and 60 bucks on average. And it comes with the screen, comes with speakers. So far, so good. I did want to do a quick headphone test and just see how this sounds. So I'm gonna put the headphones over the speaker here. And there's a little lag here. But I have to say like, it actually sounds pretty good. In my experience, when you go from the Pi auxiliary to a headphone, it's a little staticky. And uh, I'm actually pretty impressed that the headphone works. I mean, like, I'm happy with the quality for what the price you're paying on it. So that's really nice. All right, so there you have it, the game hat from Waveshare. Just so you know, Waveshare has been in the business of portable screens for a while now. And so just adding these little GPIO controls and speakers is totally in line with what they're doing. So they just kind of added on to their inventory. It's not some company coming out and like trying to do all these things and learning as they go. This company's done a lot of development in its past. So for those reasons, I think it's a good buy. Um, this is the first iteration. Maybe they'll make another one after they get some feedback. But like I mentioned, the screen is beautiful. It's full color, full frames per second, no dead pixels on it. Um, it's bright. It has the uh, adjustability as far as saturation and contrast. Um, you know, the biggest downside to me is just this analog stick right here. I think everyone agrees. Maybe you get a different top for it. It has a shorter throw. That'd be a huge upgrade and it wouldn't be too expensive. Or maybe just offering a version with a D-pad. I think a lot of people would be interested in that. Um, also, maybe expanding the battery. You can obviously do that on your own as well. Just pull this off and add some more. But um, it really does, um, it may add to the portability by only having one. Based on like how long I've been playing for it, with it, if you had a brand new battery, I would imagine my ballpark would be somewhere between two and four hours on one of these batteries, depending on how hard you're playing, things like that. There's a lot of variables. Um, but as you see, Nintendo 64, PlayStation works, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. So all your favorite retro games available on this one device. If you're interested, I'll put links in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you in the next one.